triumph of the Rolls-Royce Merlin 10 engine of the Spitfires, Hurricanes and Defiance over the Daimler Benz of the Messerschmitts and Heinkels was first established in the skies over Flanders and during the Battle of Britain. Today, the Merlin 20, the latest Rolls-Royce aero engine to go into mass production, is fitted to our latest fighter planes. In spacious factories like this, the mechanical masterpieces are born. Every phase of their production is a triumph of engineering. The automatic but delicate operation of turning cylinder liners is but one of the processes which go into the construction of a power unit which ultimately will be made up of over 11,000 parts. It would be nice to think that not a few of these magnificent engines will be earmarked for use in Australia. Just as we answer the appeal for help to Russia, so does the call from our own kith and kin find a ready response. This is how a multiple driller deals with a crankcase. A crankcase is here being faced off. The metal cuttings are collected on a moving belt and so find their way back into the crucibles. On a series of giant lays, crankshafts are being made. In spite of its size, a crankshaft is as dependent on minute measurements and balance as the smallest component part. These teeth are going through much the same as when we sit in a dentist's chair. In the standards room, we come across a series of laboratory instruments which amply illustrates the scientific perfection of the Merlin engine. Measurements down to infinitesimal fractions of an inch are gauged. These instruments allow for no mistakes. They put the OK on only the best. The shadow graph checks up on the teeth foundation of a gear wheel. Look at a magnification of a perfectly milled gear. This machine is testing the tensile or breaking point of a test piece of cold metal. The reading on the dial gives the answer. Now we join up with a party of RAF officers and get a screen snapshot of a conversation between the workers who make the engines and the men who sit behind them. What's going on? Super job of work here, you know. Well, you chips in the RAF, I'm doing too bad yourselves, are you? Well, we couldn't do it without your engines, you know. Well, we're getting on splendidly now with the help of our new mates here. We're Winnie and Anne. How do you do? I'm Norman. What were you before you came here? I was salt packer. A salt packer? Yes. Oh, putting salt on Jerry's tail, are you? <laughs> From the initial erection shop, the engines are sent to be subjected to an exacting bench test for acceptance purposes. In an anteroom looking into the testing shed through a glass partition, we meet the experts who are checking performance through a battery of gauges and dials. All speech is drowned in a deafening roar as they give her the gun. swings the needle as acceleration increases. It's revs that matter. Revolutions that drive our fighters faster and higher than their opponents. The man who can get on top first is the man who will come out on top. And the Merlin 20 is putting him there. <laughs> 